What makes Shong Chi so good? Well, we're about to get into it. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're gonna do a deep dive into Shong Chi. We're gonna check out his abilities and talk a little bit about uh, how to play him and what he can do. And then we're gonna jump into Realm of Legends and uh, have a little gameplay. All right, so first things first, let's take a look at his attributes here. Uh, you can see my Shung Chi is rank five. And these are his attributes there, his health, his attack. Uh, I am running suicides. And let's see down here. Main thing that I look at in the attributes uh, is the block proficiency. Uh, but he also has some armor rating, which not all champions have. Um, he has no crit resistance. Uh, he has some block penetration, which not all champions have. And uh, of course, his critical damage uh, is pretty high and can be changed during the fight, uh, as we will see. And his critical rating, 15%, uh, which is pretty decent. And he has guaranteed crits on like his special two. But uh, we'll get into that in a moment. Now, the synergy bonuses here, what I look for is not just what the synergies do, but who the synergy is with and how likely am I to bring this synergy partner with me on a team. So the first one is Shadowland. Uh, when Shang-Chi dodges an attack with perfect timing, it inflicts a falter passive, causing 100% of the opponent's attacks to miss for two seconds. All right, so that's pretty decent, but not something that I'm likely to really want enough to bring this guy, Mr. Negative. Uh, I'm not really a fan of Mr. Negative, and while I'm, I, I may eventually warm up to him, I have not so far. And this synergy, while decent in some situations, uh, I don't see myself bringing Mr. Negative on a team uh, with me with a uh, Shang Chi. The second one, Master Martial Artist. Uh, Shang-Chi starts the fight with four charges. Now, that's pretty good. Four Chi charges. Uh, but it's with Iron Fist. Now, Iron Fist used to be a really good champion. People used him in legend runs. Uh, you guys probably don't remember, but Ronan Noop used to always use, uh, you know, Iron Fist in legend runs. And he would rank, like, in the top ten sometimes top five, with Iron Fist. Well, that was a long time ago. Now, Iron Fist not so good. I would love to see them rework him and update him. All right, uh, maybe uh, back to his former glory or at least close to it. Uh, but I don't see myself bringing him either. Uh, but this is actually a pretty decent uh, synergy. All right, next one. The Way of the Spider. Critical hits bypass 20% of armor and resistances. So that can mean uh, more damage, but it's OG Spider-Man. Probably not gonna bring him on a team unless they rework him. Uh, Eyes of the Dragon. Landing a critical hit grants an additional 2% critical damage rating. Now that is awesome, okay? I like that, but Unless they do some reworking of these champions, I'm not likely to bring them with me on a team. Now, say I'm uh, going with a ghost synergy team. Well, Ant-Man has a great synergy with ghosts. So a team of Ghost, Wasp, The Hood, Ant-Man, and Shang-Chi is not a bad team. That's not a bad team at all. Okay, so... That I could see. And let's see here. Uh, Heroes for Hire. Uh, you gain block proficiency and physical resistance. Now, I can definitely see bringing these two on a team. Okay. And then finally, crit rating. 
uh, Electra, the original assassin. I don't really see myself bringing her for just that synergy. That synergy is nice, but no. I'm not, I'm not sure, sure I understand. understand. No, she did not understand. All right. So anyway, let's move on to his abilities. So his signature ability here, uh, you can see I'm at 75. Critical hits deal uh, a percentage of hit damage as a burst of physical damage. This ability is based on hit damage before checking block proficiency, armor, and resistances. So it's more damage. His critical hits are going to do more damage. All right. And he can also perform them through the opponent's block, a la Corvus Glaive. Uh, and of course, Aegon when he's uh, ramped up and probably some others, but those are the two that I know uh, off the top of my head. Uh, personal abilities that trigger on critical hits will trigger through block. Okay. So does he need to be awakened? No. But as you can see, there's some very nice bonuses to having him awakened. More damage, pretty much, and being able to crit through block, which can come in handy at times. All right, so he's got an always active ability. His critical hits grant a percentage or not a percentage, but it grants more critical damage for the rest of the fight, up to 300. So as the fight goes on, the more crits he does, the harder his crits will hit. That's nasty, okay? Now, here is the fun. Wushu Strikes. Uh, all Wushu Strikes start readied and can be performed by landing hits or striking into block with a series of sp specifically ordered attacks. Performing a Wushu Strike unreadies it indefinitely, meaning you're going to have to do something to reset it. We'll talk about that. The last hit is a guaranteed crit and provides one Chi Charge and activates bonus effects. Now, here is what you guys who are planning to use Shong Chi need to memorize. These are his Wushu strikes and you activate them with different combo attacks. And what you use, what order you use them in is gonna depend on your situation. So the first one up, you just do a medium, medium, all right? That's gonna remove unstoppable effects a la She-Hulk and it's going to put a slow debuff on them, which reduces Unstoppable and Evade by 100%. So against Unstoppable opponents and Evaders, he is a beast. And he has an easy access to it. If you can parry them, you can hit them with a medium medium before that stun is over. And as you see, the last hit cannot be interrupted. So you're going to get it, okay? Um, I like that. That makes him very, very useful, okay? Now, the slow won't trigger against nat natural class advantage, so just remember that. But anything else, beast mode. The next one, a medium light medium. You purify three debuffs, okay? Um, gain one indefinite cleanse passive for each readied wushu strike lasting until this Wushu Strike is readied again. When a champion with cleanse is inflicted with a debuff, it is immediately purified and cleanse is removed. Now, let's talk about that for a minute. I run suicides. So when I was looking at this, I was already ecstatic because I'm like, okay, I'm going to do a medium light medium, get rid of my debuffs from uh, my suicides. But then you also gain this cleanse passive. So understand that this makes you stun immune. So you can go up against a stun immune fight and, or not a stun immune fight, but you can go up against a fight where, you know, like it has that reflective stun or encroaching stun, something that will stun you and you're good. 
So this has a lot of applications that I have not fully explored, but I just want to bring that to your attention so you can be thinking about that. All right, the next one, medium, light, light, medium, the last hit becomes unblockable when striking into a block. So that means you don't have to wait for your opening, okay? When you're fighting someone and they're turtling up, then you can just do medium, light, light, medium into their block and you're gonna hit them, okay? And you also gain an unblockable buff lasting 1.5 seconds for each readied Wushu strike and pausing during Shong Chi's special attack. So say you've readied, uh, you have a lot of Wushu strikes ready. You know, this is the first one you're doing. You got three of them ready and you are facing an opponent that is constantly blocking you. All right. So you'll do this medium, light, light, medium. You will break their block and then you'll be unblockable. So you can, you know, break the block, dash back, go right back in. And if they try to block again, oh, well, you're going to get them. So this is great for creating openings if openings are not there. All right. And there is a little strategy to not firing these off. Like if you're fighting someone who isn't evading and doesn't get unstoppable then don't do the disarming strike because that'll just be one more wushu strike that's ready that'll help you in some of your other ones, like the cleansing strike, for example. So as a um, suicide user, I like to start off with the medium light medium, okay? But it depends on, like I said, your situation. You may also be fighting someone that... Um, evades a lot and you want to get that slow on them immediately all right and the last one the pinpoint strike is medium light 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 medium full five hit combo starting with a medium ending in a medium and that inflicts a debuff a stun debuff lasting 0.65 seconds for each readied wushu strike so if you haven't fired off any of these other ones or you've reset and they are ready and you do this one, you're going to get the longest stun. OK. Perfectly timed dodges and blocks. Uh, these if you play Spider-Man Stark Enhanced, it's easier to do the dodge because it's the way that you build up poise charges with Spider-Man. Uh, Stark Enhanced. You basically have to dodge at like the last second. And of course, well, uh, time blocks. If you delay it just like half, it takes a little bit of practice, but you don't immediately parry. You do like a, a somewhat late parry and you'll get that as well. And that will give you chi charges. All right. Heavy attack. You gain a precision buff. So that means you're going to have your critical rating increased for every chi charge that you have. And all unreadied Wushu strikes are ready. So that's how you reset it. We were talking about that earlier. So after you fire off your Wushu strikes, you want to hit them with a heavy to reset so that you can then do the Wushu strikes again. All right. Now, here are his special attacks. The special attack one which you don't see people use very often, but it also was the subject of a little issue where he could stun lock his opponents. So landing his special one or striking into a block will perform the last Wushu strike used with equal potency, excluding the pinpoint strike. Now, the reason that is important is the pinpoint strike is the one that stuns them. So if they did not exclude it, which they didn't when he was released, so you could stun lock your opponent with a special one, whether you landed it or you were hitting into their block and they would be stunned. And you could just keep doing that over and over again. They were stun locked, not what Kabam intended. 
Special two, every hit of the special two is a guaranteed crit. It consumes all the chi charges and increases the attack rating of each hit by 690 for each chi charge. So that means it's gonna hit really, really hard and can hit even harder. Because remember that his uh, crits, the crit damage is gonna go up, okay? And here we have how it can go up. Special attack three, okay? It gains more critical damage for the rest of the fight and you get four chi charges. So there's a couple of ways that you, or not just a couple, but there's many ways that you can play Shong Chi based on who you're fighting and your own personal fighting style. You know, maybe you wanna fire off a lot of special threes, build up, you know, that crit critical damage and then start doing some uh, wushu strikes. And, you know, there's, there's so many different ways uh, to play him. He is definitely my favorite champion of 2021 so far. I think he is the best champion that they have produced this year. All right, so uh, we're gonna go into Realm of Legends and we're gonna do a couple of fights. Uh, we'll do, of course, the Winter Soldier fight. And we'll also do i guess the um juggernaut fight so you can see the unstoppable uh utility in action all right so we'll be right back all right we're gonna go into realm of legends now as i said and i talked about this team before and so it's only fair that i set up this team uh and it's gonna help me in realm of legends because the fight with uh captain marvel uh i'll just use ghost quickly get that one done uh, get to Juggernaut, and then uh, add that fight to the video. All right, so the only uh, synergy that we have active is the Ant-Man synergy here. And that's the one that landing a critical hit grants an additional critical damage rating. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the other uh, Ghost Trinity doesn't really help him. But like I said, it'll help me get through... Uh, to Juggernaut uh, a little bit faster. All right, so as I mentioned, I run Suicide. So first thing, medium, light, medium, and I'm cleansed, okay? Let's do that one there. He's unblockable. Get the stun. And now it's reset, okay? Really nice. Stun. A lot of damage. Look at that block proficiency. He did not take a lot of damage at all. Okay, another stun. Reset. Love it. Now, we don't have any need for um, the uh, slow debuff here. Just look at this. Okay. Get a little bit of a uh, special three action here. Hmm. Perfectly uh, timed dodge there. Delay just a little bit. Stun. Look at that. Tried to block, didn't matter. Crit to the block. So look at this. Let's uh, cycle another special three. All right. And he's already at 50% health. Shang-Chi is bad. He's a bad boy. Okay, so we need to reset it at this point. So we can get his Wushu strikes back. So, boom. And it's reset. One, two, three, boom. 
He's unblockable. Don't matter if he tries to block. So look at that. Look at those crits now. How you like them now? Nasty. So, like I said, different ways to play Shang-Chi. Um... I don't know the best way, but he's so flexible. He has such utility. All right, so I'm gonna do uh, this fight with Ghost and we'll be right back and you'll see how he does against Juggernaut. All right, done with that fight. Let's move on to the Juggernaut. Now, I have not fought Juggernaut with Shang-Chi, so this is the first time. Now, this Juggernaut, is the old juggernaut so you can actually stun him when he's unstoppable so that should make things a little bit easier for us all right see he did not get unstoppable i forgot to do my cleanse in the beginning so i already did that one kind of wrong all right let's reset it now i want him to get unstoppable now there we go so then boom boom and you see it disappeared so it got rid of his uh unstoppable so i wanted to do that and now it has a slow which will prevent the unstoppable so once you have that you don't have to worry about his unstoppable there you go Made an opening, but he immediately attacked right after it. So you got to be careful about that. Okay, reset. I'm holding block. He wants to fire that off. Medium, medium. No unstoppable. Stunned. Big strikes. Boom, boom, boom. Reset. Stunned. More strikes. Very, very nice. Okay. Medium, medium. Put that slow on him. All right. Now we can build up some charges like that. Okay. Come on. All right, let's just go for it. Very nasty, very nasty. Do medium, control that uh, unstoppable. And that reset. Keep on stunning, boom. And Juggernaut is down. Yeah, I, I'm still needing to practice with him to get those uh, wushu strikes in my head uh, so I know what I'm doing, when I'm doing it, and I don't really even have to think about it. You know, it's like, oh, I need this one, do the combo. Uh, but the more you use Shung Chi, uh, the better he will feel playing. Uh, it. He's awesome. I'm very happy that I grinded for him in the arena. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Um I might have to uh, make some more videos with Shang-Chi uh, in other situations. Uh, against Evaders, it's gonna look pretty much the same style where you wanna get that medium medium in, uh, do your combos, maybe stun, hit a heavy, reset it, and you can reapply the uh, uh, slow, uh, that type of thing. Just depends on the type of fight that you are fighting. All right, so take care. If you enjoyed the video, found it informative, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you have some suggestions, if you know a different way to play Shang-Chi, leave a comment. Love to hear from you. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.